special day, so uh, I apologize for the weather, but it sounded awful. Uh, I'll certainly answer any questions. Well, on the left front row there, Bill. Uh, well, Urban, first of all, congratulations on, on grandfather. Um, can you walk us through your day and what it's been like for you with that and this? Yeah, this that's all right. I'm not, I don't want to infringe upon anyone's privacy, but it's out there now. So, um, last night we were just going to have dinner and she's going to come over and, and uh, uh, we got a phone call and uh, Shelly and, and Nikki had their whatever talk they have about that and, <coughs> and she said, looks like things are going. I said, like, moving? She said, yep. And she went to the hospital and they kept her uh, over and then I said, does that mean? And she said, yeah, so we uh, got a little bit of sleep. Shelly went at 4 o'clock. The baby was born at 5.30. I had my son about 5.45. We were down there about 6.15. I you know, watched the, uh, let the meet the baby, uh, make sure my daughter's fine, which she is. Dad's fine. And uh, we watched the selection show from the maternity ward. <laughs> Could you describe your feelings on, on this day and, and also the matchup with my yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just one of those guys just uh, very, you know, I understand these are all gifts. And we're just you know, very grateful that God blessed my daughter with a healthy baby and, and uh, a great husband. And so that's that's the first thoughts. And second of all, uh, there's so many teams, I, I'd never really watched it this close. Because uh, I guess we had time. And the amount of teams that were worthy of this, and I just said, I'm going to send a text out to our players and staff right now that will we receive this opportunity with incredibly humility and class. Cause uh, I can name six, seven teams right now that are that quality of teams. And so we're going to do the best we can to represent. So it was exactly the way we did it in 14 because that was the uncharted waters. And uh, all focus obviously is on this one. I didn't think when I first heard about the playoff, I thought we'd split up our staff and have guys work on the other games in case. And when you get into it, you don't have time. So it's going to be all hands on deck. We have a big recruiting weekend this weekend, so in finals week, so those are all the things that we'll be discussing right now. Is there any part of it, <coughs> just for those of us who don't watch practice, I mean, is it like in August? Do you do some fundamentals and then shift to game prep? Or how, how do you, how's that work? Oh, in a, in a, in a, in a way it is. We do, uh, it'll be full fundamentals this next week. We have two, two or three practices, we full fundamentals. Then the next week we'll be preliminary game plan. And then as we get around Christmas time, game plan goes in and then you're in game week. And the last thing you want to do is give guys things to work on that we're not going to do. So it's going to be hard, hard fundamentals, which we have a lot of work to do in certain areas. And, uh, and then uh, preliminary game plan. Game plan. It is included in this college football playoff. What would you tell what, what is well, it? First of all, we'll right? do that. Second of all, I don't know if I want to go there because I have too much respect. I watched, you know, I never had a chance to watch games like that. And I watched the games. And I, I'm always about the, especially the lower I get, about the players. I mean, you talked about some great football last night. Guys going as hard as they possibly can. So uh, I'll be respecting I'm not going to go and make an appeal. I don't have to. I will make an appeal for what how hard kids are playing right now. This is the this is the golden years of college football. When you watch what I watched last night, that, it doesn't get any better. And what I've seen this season as far as uh, our conference numbers, <coughs> we've gone from uh, in 2012. I remember I was I was actually shocked. The disrespect that our because I never looked at it that way, but uh, how lousy everybody said our conference was, and, and we weren't. I don't think we we're lousy, but we weren't great. Mm -hmm. And uh, now to say that I hear every every person that I it's the best conference in college football. You tell me that's not a, uh, 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 just a great reward for uh, administrations and coaching staffs and players that have made it, made that drastic change. You like you want it. But like, is it great for college football? Do you it think is this great. is a good setup? It is, is great. It's great for the players. I mean, it's hard now. Right. What our guys get ready to go through is really hard. Those four teams, all the teams get ready to go play this big time ball game. So uh, I think one of the things that's interesting in Billy Donovan, my old neighbor down in Florida, we used to, I used to give him a hard time. He said, do you realize how hard March Madness is? And I looked at him and said, do you realize 365 days a year we have March Madness? You can't lose. And, so it is, it, I, I won't use that word fun very often. Uh, it's very rewarding. It's why you come to Ohio State. I understand that uh, the greatest fun of all is when you jog out to feel victorious. And so we're going to do everything we can to have that feeling again.